So today we're going to be working on installing a yield monitor in a R70 combine. Um, we'll just go over the parts and how they are shipped and give you a little view on how they how they look. Well, let me show you what came in the box with the yield monitor that we're installing. That's the name of the company and they're out of Canada. But what comes with it is optical eyes. One for the right side, left side, the actual brain box the module, and then the cabling to go from one side to the other. And here's the actual antenna, which as we unpack it, we'll start looking at it a little farther. They also send an alignment kit where you drill a pilot hole. And after you do drill your pilot hole, you come back with the unit bit and you drill all the way through that. And then they have an extension that goes all the way through to the other side. Of course, we got to have our safety glasses on to make sure that we keep everybody safe and no one gets hurt. But we have our pilot hole already drilled. Now we're going to come back and drill our bigger hole into it. So let's see how this goes. Okay, now let's see if we have a paddle that's in the way. So we'll have to take a look here. See if I can see if there's... Okay, seems like she's all right. So let's uh, finish drilling this all the way through. Actually turned out pretty well. At this point, we got to get some alcohol pads and clean it up and start sticking our optical mounting blocks on there. All right, we're at the point of installing the bracket for the optical eye. We got the hole drilled. So let's uh, clean this spot up with some alcohol pads. Boy, let's see if I can get it pulled apart. Got to clean it up real well so the adhesive will stick on it. Oh, it's got a little smell to her. Well, let's do another one. All right. What they do is you put this mounting plate on it, and when you stick it in the hole, it'll uh, align itself. So you put it on. Okay. So what you do is you hold it in place for about 15 seconds so it can set up and sort of glue itself over onto the metal. until it okay well now we're gonna drill to the, through the other side and what they do is they give you a alignment tool so when you drill across the other side it pretty much aligns for aligns itself finish it up Whoa, I guess we're through. There we go. All right, at this point, we'll uh, alcohol clean up the other side and we'll put the other uh, mounting bracket on. Well, we have the optical eyes in place. And we got the wire run to the front of the cab. We just went down into this existing old wire chaseway here. And 
up through the trusty old window and from there we'll uh, end up terminating on our uh, module so that's kind of an update of where we're at the moisture module gets installed down on the bottom of the leg where the cover is and it's just a, a plug-in and you take your cover off and you just you cut it in and the module sits on the very bottom so the grain has to pass it before it goes up into the elevator back into the grain bin which is very simple worked very well Well, we're still at it. The installation we have is complete. So, in the big picture, I'd say the installation was fairly easy. Probably took us maybe a couple hours to install it. Our next move is to get our app loaded onto our iPad and see if we can talk to the device and see if we can see any numbers or results coming through. Once you have all the hardware installed, you just go install your FarmTrex app. And once you get that, you just pick your FarmTrex. It'll be searching for your module the device you put in your, the cab. And then once it shows up, it's, it connects via Bluetooth. You'll do a connect to it. And you say, you want to connect. So it's connecting to the module. And once it's connected to the module, this is the information that you'll get on it. You get the amount of time that you've been threshing, your, your moisture, which, and then your dry yield, your speed, rate, <clears throat> the amount of acres you did or the dry volume and all these numbers can be changed to if you want to say go to tons or if you want to go to kilos or whatever you can change all them to whatever you want them to be and once this information is gathered it goes to the cloud and at the end of the day all the machines that are running it will download to the cloud and then it gets put together and it populates your field, the field view, which we use, which is optional. You don't need to use that, but it works. In my opinion, it was an easy installation. And it worked really well. Also in farm treks, if you go to the top left-hand corner, you can see where you sync with the cloud. You can do live data, live harvesting. And if you want to do a calibration to make sure your yields and everything are on, you can calibrate it going to a scale. You can edit you can edit the header, put your header within, which what we're running is 36 foot heads. You can edit your crop, whatever crop you want to put in, which we're doing wheat is what we have lit loaded. And then you can go into advanced settings, which will give your GPS. If you ever have a troubleshoot, you can uh, troubleshoot through here and send it to, to them. And they'll look at the issues you have. But no, it, it seemed to work, work well. Once the data is loaded into farm trucks into the cloud, it can be pulled back out and you can view it in field view to where you can do subscript prescriptions for next year for fertilizer or chemical or however you want to handle it. But let's look at what field, field view looks like. And this is the field that we haven't harvested yet, but let's pick the field that we have harvested. 
and here's a field we partially harvested and this is kind of what it what it looks like and over here on the side you can change whatever yields you want to represent whatever color and what happens is farm treks gets this data and you see how it's, how it's kind of blotchy what they do is they put it together and they'll make it they'll they'll streamline like when you turn turn corners or wherever your headers out of the grain they eliminate the headlands so your actual yield is is accurate but this is what a field view map looks like you can see it's it's still populating more of it as we go it's pulling it from the cloud information you can see this red one here that someone must have drove the combine with the header up running and nothing was going through the combine but once they get a hold of the data they'll map all that stuff out and they clean it up i hope uh hope this helps somebody out there with the uh, farm treks installation or want to get yield better yield on your machines or your combines this works on any combine out there the older ones the newer ones have their own systems all designed into them but for us it's worked good we see the moisture we see the yield we can build maps it's worked it's worked very well for us but all right have a good day and hope this helps someone see you guys later